All right, today I want to show you guys how to clone a disk. There are many reasons why you want to clone a disk. For example, you can create a backup of your current disk with entire operating system and all the files. Or let's say you're running out of space and you want to upgrade to the larger size disk. Or let's say you got a new computer and you want to move your stuff there. Yeah, cloning disk can save a lot of time and effort as you will not have to reinstall your operating system plus all the applications, games or whatever you have. I have a perfect example for you guys. This is a Windows machine running on a HDD. Now I want to upgrade it to SSD. So I have the SSD ready here. Uh, if you're following this tutorial, then make sure that the disk where you want to clone is empty if there is anything that needs to be saved then make sure to put it somewhere in safe place because this disk will get formatted while cloning now this video is sponsored by is us a software company who makes variety of different softwares so today i want to show you guys this software called disk cloning by is us i will put a link in the description for this website you can go there and download it now once you download this software just open it up now this is how the software looks pretty simple there are a couple of options here but today i just want to show you guys how to clone a disk so select the option disk mode which will be the first option so go in there and in here first select the disk which you want to copy so in my case this is disk one uh, this is the hdd and i want to upgrade to the ssd so i'm going to select the hdd here which is disk one and then hit next now in here i want to select the disk where i want to copy so in my case it's the disk zero and it is the ssd so i'm going to select that and i'm going to hit next and in here you don't have to change anything unless you want to because uh, it will automatically create a exact copy of the disk which you're cloning. So leave everything as it is and click on proceed. Now it will give you a warning that it will format the disk which we have selected for cloning. So if you want to recheck whether you have selected the right disk or not, then click on reselect. Once you confirm that, uh, click on continue. I'm going to click on continue. Now it will start cloning the disk while it's doing its thing. Let me show you. It's actually a fresh installed uh, Windows 11. I don't have many things installed in it, but uh, let me show you a few of the things that I have. In my downloads folder, you can see all the files here. And I have a couple of apps installed, like the Firefox is there. So once the cloning is done, I'm gonna boot it from the uh, cloned disk, which is my SSD. And let's see if it keeps everything what I have. Now you just wait for it to clone the disk. And uh, for me, it is uh, gonna take around 10 minutes. So sit back, relax, and maybe do something else while it's doing its job. All right, actually for me, it took only eight minutes. And once it's done, it will give you the option finish. So click on finish and you're back to the disk mode where you started. Now go to the file manager or Windows File Explorer and then check your SSD. So you can see, so it looks like it has cloned the disk successfully now we just need to boot it from our ssd you can either remove your hsd or just change the boot sequence uh, in bios so give me a minute i'm just gonna reboot it and i'm gonna boot uh, this laptop with the new ssd now check this out we have successfully booted our machine from the newly cloned SSD. So it contains all the things. Actually, you can see we have everything same, like all the settings, all the apps, like you can see the Firefox is there. If I go to the downloads folder, you can see all the files are also there. The only difference here is that this is not the same drive. This is the SSD that we just cloned from HDD. So you can see we have the SSD here. The HDD is also here. Actually, I didn't remove it. Uh, I just formatted it because I didn't want the HDD. You can see HDD is formatted and uh, yeah, 
easy peasy and yeah this is probably the easiest and fastest way to clone a disk it feels much faster i mean <laughs> going from hdd to ssd is just you know there is a huge difference in performance so yeah this tool is actually really fast plus easy to use so again i will put link in the description for the website you can go there and download this from there and uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions related to this topic, please feel free to ask a question in the comments and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.